What you're looking at here is my Belka DX receiver. I'm using the IQ output, which I'm feeding into my computer using um, a stereo audio lead. And I'm feeding it into the um, SDR Sharp software, which is a free download. You'll find it if you uh, do a Google search. I'm at the CW end of the band, 14020. You can see that um, there's some CW signals uh, being displayed. We've got a 40 kilohertz band with 20 kilohertz down from the frequency that the Belka is tuned to and 20 kilohertz up. We just unmute the, bell, the um, audio from the computer. And you can hear now this is the uh, CW signal as we're receiving it through SDR Sharp. And uh, we've got a 150 hertz filter selected in SDR Sharp. We can zoom in and out. There's a very strong signal there. See as we tune around. The display on the Belka won't change as we tune around because we're just taking an output from the Belka. But I, as I tune the Belka, you see I tune slightly there, um, you'll see that the, uh, the, the the display will change when I, I tune the Belka up the band in a moment. But you can see sometimes to tune these CW signals in the um, software, we've got to zoom in quite close because we're using a very narrow filter there, 150, uh, 150 hertz filter. Um, you can obviously vary the display on SDR Sharp to suit yourself, change the colors and so on and so forth. We can um, change the filter in, we'll widen out here to a, th a 300 uh, hertz uh, filter. Makes it a little bit easier to tune. Okay, so <clears throat> and we can see the other um, CW signals within the spectrum. As we tune up the band, you'll see that the display on SDR Sharp uh, changes because it's getting a, a different output from the Belka coming up uh, towards the uh, SSB section of the band now. As we tune up a bit higher, I think there's a, a contest on 20 meters. I think we'll see some um, some stronger signals, some stronger sideband signals. Um, and here they are. You can see there's a, a number within the 40 kilohertz uh, chunk of spectrum that we're looking at. Um, we're on, uh, what, 14.182 uh, or thereabouts. I'm selecting lower sideband here because for some reason the output of the Belka is, is reversed against what um, SDR Sharp is looking for. There must be a way of changing that in the software. I'll look into that. Okay, so you can see now that we've got the SSB signals being demodulated by SDR Sharp. We can see a number of QSO is going on within that 40 kilohertz chunk that we can see from the Belka. We can tune through the spectrum. And um, similarly, we, we're using a um, 2.4 kilohertz filter um, in SDR Sharp at the moment. But in a moment, we'll, um, we'll play around with the filtering a little bit. I think we can see what, about uh, half a dozen signals we just mute that for a second <clears throat> okay we're tuning a tighter filter now in uh, SDR sharp sorry a, a wider filter and then down to a tighter filter that's 1.9 you can see the filters narrower the audio quality may be not so good but useful if there's um if there's interference about. Now obviously we could feed this output if it was data, we could feed it into decoder for FT8 or SSTV. We've set SDR Sharp up as a, a baseband to accept the baseband from the sound card. Fairly straightforward, we can play around with the colour settings and so on, but we'll do that in a future video. It was just a quick uh, look to see how we can use the IQ output that's uh, built into the little uh, Belka DX. Hope you liked it.